probably shouldn't be drinking coffee because you know milk when you're sick causes uh mucus <laughs> hey guys it's Lorraine Lioness and for today's video I'm creating this super duper easy fall look and I realized how cozy and fall it looks, especially wearing this sweater, my favorite sweater. I knew I wanted to do something with these types of red-brown colors. I got inspired from one of my last Halloween tutorials that I used these shades uh, to create, you know, depth. And you'll see in the video if you guys watch it. And, um, yeah. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, then keep on watching. I'm just in a black kind of mood. But I still wanted to film something for you guys, probably put this up in the middle of the week. I wanted to put videos up in the middle of the week and then on the weekends of the month of October put up Halloween tutorials. I already did a base. I did my foundation, concealer, and my eyebrows as you can see. So if you haven't already guessed it, I think I'm going to go into my 35O because it has all the nice warm fall colors. I came across this combination of colors when I was doing a um, Halloween look the other day and it was very red orange, uh, red orange, it was very red brown and rusty kind of so I was using it to make like a deadish look and bruisey but I decided I think I wanted to do that as an eye look. Start of course with a fluffy brush, this is the Morphe M507. And I'm going to take a combination of three colors to make sure it's not super red and just a good combination. So I'm going to take, let's see, let me point to the right colors. Okay, so I'm going to take a combination of this color that's literally right in the middle of the palette and then this red orange shade and then this one up top. So I'm gonna dip my brush in all three of those, tap out and start blending in our crease. And this look isn't gonna be super uh, defined or anything, kind of messy. I think I'm gonna do this color kind of all over the eye, including the lid. And as you're going, you can, of course, see which route you want to go, where it could be more brown or it could be more red, orange, uh, whatever you want. I'm going to just start uh, putting some on the lid. I think I'm gonna keep it like that. What I am gonna do is put the take a cool tone brown, probably my favorite one from the Charlotte Palette Dreamer, right here. It's actually one of the shades I use on my eyebrows after using the next Tame and Frame. It's just it's a beautiful cool tone brown. I'm just gonna take this flat brush and that shade and go along my top lash line. take my shader brush and use that same mix of red and browns to smoke out the bottom lash line. So now we're going to move on to mascara. And I'm going to put a highlight in there. I'm going to take the second highlighter from the BH Cosmetics and Carly Bible palette, which is like a pinky goldenish shade right here. Could you tell I like that a lot? Also falls apart and cracks. Now mascara. Top and bottom lashes and the lashes I'm gonna be using are the Studio Effect 110s. Okay, 
So I put on lashes. Why is it blocked out up there? So I put on lashes and mascara on my lower lashes. And this is what the look is. Um, I'm basically done with my eyes. I don't know. So we're going to do a, a brow bone highlight. Couldn't think of the name. Already then. So I'm going to use that same powder that we, the same color that we used for our inner corner. Right here. Just a little bit. So we're going to move on to the rest of our face. And I'm just going to contour, of course. So Too Faced, and I also, I don't know if I mentioned it in the video or not, dip into Dreamer a little bit, just because it's a little bit more cool toned. So I mix my Too Faced and tap into Dreamer, tap out, and then use the edge, and then use the top bristles to blend out. Highlighting with the two middle shades, so that light pinky gold color, and then this really, really bronze one here, too. Another fact. Now, I've been using this new NYX blush that I got. It's not Excuse me, super new, but I got it recently on my CVS because I thought it was really nice and it has like little shimmers in it that I could care less for. But I feel like I can't I can't really see it on my skin. Like I can swatch it and it swatches really nice. And it's like this peachy color by NYX. It's their baked blush illuminator and bronzer. Oh, you're too no, not bronzer. Um, in the shade Sugar Mama. But but I said I don't feel like it shows up on me. And then like I don't wanna just by accident put way too much. I'm gonna play me and kind of sort of show up today. Or like can you not see that? Because I can barely see that also. And like I said, I wanted to do a kind of sort of monochromatic look with the lips. Uh, I think I'm gonna go to Bumble, which is more like pinky brown ish. And this, oh, this is not Bumble, my bad. This is Tool. Either goes. I think I'm gonna use Tool. I haven't used Tool in a while. I used it once recently. So, yeah, this is a ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Tool. Every time I put this lip on, or like any lip I haven't used in a while, I'm like, girl, how did I not put this on sooner? No, I forget that I love it so much. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna zoom you guys out so you can see the whole picture better. And I just real like I've I've had this shirt on for like two days straight because I've been home, um, and it's cozy and it's my favorite sweater. It has some holes in it that uh kind of were like that when I got it and I was like I don't really hate it you know they're not huge so uh when my uncle was here a few weekends ago like two weekends ago he saw me wearing it and he was like what's up with the holes so he started calling it my Kanye sweater yeah so as you can see it was super easy to create this look and and, uh, I don't know what to say to you guys. I feel like I have, like, sick brain. Like, I can't think. Honestly, like, use any shade and do this type of look, and you're, like, set. Super easy. You can do it with all types of shades. And this look looks nice with brown eyes. So, um, I'm just gonna shut up now. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please comment down below with any Halloween ideas that you may have. 
um, or any other regular normal fall glam easy glittery holiday looks like anything you want to see coming up please let me know in the comments down below or on any of my social medias um, yeah and I will okay and um, I will definitely get to those and film those for you guys and so thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video bye guys stay fierce eating my lipstick.